Gerzine, by the way, that's the way the family pronounces the name, Rizzo. Rizzo began his career with Exxon here before moving up through the ranks to the presidency of Exxon International. A half century ago, in a place thousands of miles away, Americans were getting a taste of surrender. Our troops were surrendering to Japanese forces in the Philippines. It was 50 years ago this week, Louisianians were being captured at Corregidor. WAFE's Denny Brand says a special group of World War II veterans are going to be honored in Baton Rouge this weekend. This squad of Louisiana veterans marched off to World War II and into the history books 50 years ago this week. They were all fighting thousands of miles away in the Philippines when it fell to the Japanese May 6, 1942. First Bataan, then the guns fell silent at Corregidor, which sits on Manila Bay. Their capture led to the infamous Bataan Death March. It was 75 miles of agony, brutality, and death. I was uh, put on the detail for the Japanese to dig gun emplacements for Michelle Corregidor. And in the meantime, Corregidor was shelling us. We had to dodge our own ammunition on the death march. Somebody that didn't uh, uh, you know, follow an order, of course, we couldn't understand the Japanese. And if you couldn't follow an order, well, they would uh, shoot you or bayonet you, leave you laying by the road. Just terrible. Corregidor was the last American stronghold in the Philippines. The heat was terrific, and men were panicking and uh, running berserk because of lack of water. You're looking at 200,000 Japanese and about 11,000 Marines and Navy. We had mixed then, and it just went on down to the bottom. With American subs on patrol, the trip to a Japanese POW camp was as dangerous as the death march. But when they started shooting them torpedoes, they uh, even in them holes hollered, Give me a hand, pull me out. They couldn't get out unless the Japs put a ladder or something down in there. So it was kind of hectic there for a while. Eventually, Haley and the others would be liberated, and they lived to tell their terrible tales. Tomorrow in Baton Rouge, these vets of Bataan and Corregidor will be awarded medals in a ceremony at the USS Kidd on the riverfront. In the meantime, this squad of aging warriors will keep marching and remembering the nightmare they call Bataan. Denny Brand, WAFB News. Tomorrow, that special group of veterans will be honored in a ceremony at the USS Kidd, Baton Rouge, Riverside. The event is sponsored by Zachary Taylor Post 3784 of, of the Veterans of Foreign Wars. You can enjoy patriotic music at 9 in the morning tomorrow. The Confederate Air Force will fly over at 11. It's all free to the public. Coming up